All right, folks, here we go. Brian Blessing in Las Vegas. Let's see where the numbers are going to go in the NFL. Week 5 is coming up, a quarter of the season in the books. Pretty scary to think how fast it goes by, but let's dive right in, Gatling gun style at bangthebook.com. Follow me on Twitter at Brian Blessing. Baltimore and Cleveland. Baltimore three-point favorite on the road. Letdown spot, possibly, uh, after beating Pittsburgh. Total on the game is 47, and you think about this Browns team. Mayfield looks really good. The defense struggled against the Raiders. Honestly, that was a bad call where they moved the spot. Browns should have won that game. I mean, you can make a case they could have won all four of their games. That's an interesting game. Uh, and the Browns at home, the fan base is fired up for Mayfield. Won't be an easy spot for the Baltimore Ravens. Jacksonville and Kansas City, something's got to give. Defense versus offense. Chiefs find a way against Denver. Laying three here, totals 48 and a half. Man, that's a lot of respect for Jacksonville. I know it's a Monday night game, uh, emotional divisional game, tough spot possibly for Kansas City, but Arrowhead, boy, that home field advantage, that's a lot of respect on the board for the Jags. Tennessee and Buffalo, three, three and a half. Tennessee, three and one. One of the stories in the NFL this year, overtime win over Philadelphia, but Buffalo comes off a game where they were shut out at Green Bay, but the defense held Rodgers to 22. Buffalo's defense is playing good football. Problem for Josh Allen, none of the wide receivers get open. But at home, that crowd noise, people are going to love what Tennessee's done. And look what Buffalo did last. This could be a trap spot for the Tennessee Titans. Giants in Carolina. Carolina, fresh for this game. Lay in seven, totals 44.5. Giants offense remains pedestrian. Denver and the Jets, the Jets one and a half, two-point favorites here. They've kind of come back to reality. Denver off a hard-fought emotional loss. Traveling east, that's the rub for the Broncos. Uh, but Darnold could struggle against uh, Von Miller and company. Uh, here's the one, Atlanta-Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh's a three-point favorite, but how about a total of 56.5? It's been bet up to 57. It may go even higher. These two teams can score. These two teams can't stop anybody, albeit I think Pittsburgh can score anywhere. Atlanta may be a monster at home and suspect on the road. Green Bay, Detroit. Green Bay's a one and a half point favorite at the Lions. Totals 51. Again, a punch to the gut for Detroit. Hard fought effort. Came up short against Dallas. Green Bay just flat out owned them. Miami, Cincinnati. Cincinnati's a six point favorite. Total in the game is 50. Miami got boat raced. Bengals, emotional, draining victory uh, at Atlanta. Uh, could be a lot of points here if Miami bounces back with a respectable effort. Oakland and the Chargers. Chargers laying six. Can you lay six with the Chargers against anybody? Like, I just don't know what it is with this team. It's, they've got all the talent. Uh, they just never seem to kick the door down. That looks high to me. Total on the game is 53. Arizona, San Fran. My goodness. San Fran's a four-point favorite. What does that tell you? With Beathard as the quarterback, the total on the game is 41. Minnesota, Philly. Uh, this is not for the faint of heart. The Eagles. Schwartz, a great defensive coordinator. Minnesota wants to get uh, that defense fired up. Uh, total in the game is 44.5. There's a lot of weapons out there, but I like the defenses. It might be a shockingly low-scoring game. Rams in Seattle. Wow. The, the Rams going on the road and laying a touchdown. One of the toughest places to play. Seattle's only had the one home game, and they got the win. Probably looking at the home dog here. Uh, Dallas and Houston. Houston's a three-point favorite. Total's 45. Frank Reich win for it in overtime. Their credit, Houston with 20 seconds left, made the pass, got the game-winning kick, finally win a game. O'Brien's play calling has been suspect, um, but it's an interesting football game. Uh, nonetheless, uh, where you get this you know, regional rivalry, uh, and Houston wants to you know, make a statement against the Cowboys in-state. And then Washington and New Orleans. New Orleans, 6.5. Total on the board is 52.5. Can you trust the Redskins to put... That many points up, if it turns into a track meet, Washington's going to want to slow this football game down. Always trying to get ahead of the number, try to figure out just who these teams are. I think through four weeks, we kind of know now. It was a weird season with preseason. Nobody played. In the first three weeks, we were still trying to sort out who's who. I think we kind of know now, as this NFL season starting to race by, heading into week five here at bangthebook.com.